Welcome, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, to the I Be Be I Be Ballin Show with your girl, Young Ash. Ashley, I Be Ballin. <laughs> Today is a very special, special, you know, episode. I got two jockey crew members. We're going to be talking about the best fan section in the NBA. You heard, and we're also going to talk about the buck season so far. Now, I got Melissa Mo Brown with me. I got Abram Gonzalez with me. Now, I got to introduce y'all a special way. Melissa Brown, you know, you know, I first met her. I first saw her at the Bradley Center, and she was always standing up. And I was like, wow, she's standing up and, you know, bringing a lot of energy. And that's what we look for in the fan section. Later she joined and she's always nice. And she's always pleasant to be around. And I be seeing her on Facebook with her uh, designs, the painting. She's really a great artist, you know. She might have to do well. My my face is sensitive. You do sensitive stuff. I do. I do. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you should paint the whole jockey crew. Well, whoever wants, you should paint our faces one day for like a right. playoff game. <laughs> right. Great. And and Abram, you know, he's a part of what we call the A team, the A game, because our names start with A, and our birthdays are in March. You know. So, um, me, Abram, and Anna, I mean, Ann, you know, we're part of the A team. He's always energetic. He's a very cool, laid back in person. But, you know, then he gets loud for the bucks. So, I want you guys to introduce yourselves. What do you guys want to say about yourselves? Oh, before I before I let you guys do it, I did want to do a rhyme. I was going to say, Melissa Mo Brown, she get down. She can go pound <laughs> for pound, round for round. Yeah. A great sound. Yeah. <laughs> she can hit a three from downtown. Yeah. Ooh, I don't know about that, but. <laughs> Let's go along with it. I can coach it. <laughs> <laughs> Abram. He's the man. If he can't do it, no one can. Gonzalez, that's what I'm talking about. He wildin'. Hey. And profiling. <laughs> Got a nice styling. Hey. <laughs> Y'all like that rhyme? I um, loved it. I loved it. <laughs> okay. Melissa, you can go first. Ladies first, you know. You want to say anything about yourself? Okay. Um, I'll say a lot more probably at the end, because I don't want to like get into too much of who I am, because a lot of what I might say will bring it out. And I want to keep repeating myself. But I have been a Bucks fan all my life. And Mm -hmm. in 2013, we became season ticket holders and have been like huge time fans ever since. And even though they were you know, 15 wins <laughs> in 2013, we were, we were mega fans and grew close to a lot of the players. And, um, I have two kids that are just amazing fans too. So we get to experience it as a family and I'll, and I'll say more as, as the interview goes on. <laughs> cool, 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 cool. Yo. Tell them what it is, A-Gang. Hey, so I'm Abraham Gonzalez. Um, I've been a Bucks fan since I was a kid. I remember my first Bucks game I ever went to. It was in 1996. It was against... Whoa. Uh, Who was it against? Boston. Mine was against Orlando in, around that time. <laughs> oh, it was... It was cool. My mom got the tickets. Uh, like I said, it was the first game. I got hooked. Ever since then, I got hooked. I got hooked on the Bucks and I got hooked on basketball. I did drop off for a little bit towards my later teenage years. Partying kind of took over, but I got 
<laughs> as long but, as you're back. <laughs> yes. And then, you know, I started rooting for them again, even though they were, like you said, bad teams. I remember going to the games for seven bucks, but <laughs> it was, you sat anywhere you wanted. And, and even though some of those, some of those teams are terrible, I never get, <laughs> I always cheered. Everybody knows I'm a Bucks fan, even the young young ones that they're all Golden State and the new trend teams and they're like, ah, get out of here. And I'm like, <laughs> don't be hating. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, were you were you there when the Warriors were losing? You know? <laughs> I that bet. is going to be one of my answers. <laughs> We was down for the Bucks when they were losing, you know. Yeah. I might have went to every game that year when we lost 15. No, we only won 15 games. Yeah, we yeah. only won 15. <laughs> no, where did I go? Sorry, guys. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. You looking like me out there. <laughs> <laughs> Technology, what can you do? Right. <laughs> The first question I want to ask, since we're talking about, you know, the Jockey Crew, what was the first year y'all, you know, became members of the Jockey Crew? Well, there was a lot of names back then. Squad 6, Sector 7, there was Cream City Clash, there was Clutch Crew. You know, when did you guys become a member? What year? Who you want? first <laughs> oh sure melissa you can go i'll go i think it was 2014 or yeah 2014 we became part of what was before cream city clash was it sector seven with yeah Ursa? it was yeah it was sector seven um that's when we became part of the fan section and it was it was nice because we had two season tickets besides that. So we didn't have to, you know, I mean, it was up high, but we didn't have to like like our kids could go to the game, too. And we were there as well. So it allowed us to to be there as a family, kind of, but not sitting together. <laughs> but that was the year that I became part of it. Cool, cool. What about you, A team? Um, I want to say 2016 was when I uh started with the jockey, not jockey crew. I was, I think it was called Cream City Clash at that time. I'm not too sure. Yeah, I think it was Cream City Clash. We've had so many names. <laughs> I know. Kidding. <laughs> but we always remain the same. The best. Yeah. Yes, yes. <laughs> I believe um, I joined like um, I joined like two thousand and <laughs> yeah, I changed the scenery a bit. I'm like, what happened? <laughs> I was I like, mean... I didn't. I was like, I didn't touch my <laughs> this time. <laughs> yeah, you could change different ones. Look at different that. scenery. I'll change different scenery as we go, you know. Mm-hmm. I joined in 2012, and I remember having an audition, and I went to the Bradley Center. I I made a rap. I don't remember what I said, and I also danced for the audition, and I got in. Yay! Hey. Yeah, that's Back when you had to audition for like your life, like <laughs> like it wasn't like come to a game and we'll see how you do. It was no, you come to the Bradley Center, you get in front of everybody else, and you audition. You show them what you're working with, and it's intimidating. <laughs> yeah, I I was nervous. There was there was quite a good few that I remember there. I remember Jordan being there. Past members. Yeah, it was fun. I was I was nervous, but um, you know, I had to let my spirit shine, you know. Right. 
Right. My my situation was I didn't audition. I actually <laughs> my sister was with the Cream City Clash and she actually tricked me. She randomly texted me. She goes, Hey, go to a Bucks game. I go, Yeah. So we go, I get there, and you know, she has a ticket, she scans me in. She goes, Hey, and she goes, um, this is not no normal Bucks game for you. <laughs> <laughs> I go, is it the cheering group? And she goes, yeah. I go, what? <laughs> so I was kind of weird about it. I walked in and I'm, I'm like, wow. I, I was nervous. I was very nervous. Obviously very shocked too. Because mm-hmm. I wasn't expecting none of that. And then, what's it called? Uh, I think it was Benny that was running the group. He came. He uh, came up to me. He goes, "Hey, let me get your email." And ever since then, it's been. Yep. It's been six years now. Oh, oh yeah, oh. you're a vet. <laughs> I'm a vet. I know. I I love that. <laughs> yes, you are a vet. <laughs> <laughs> One of the next questions I want to ask is: Do you guys have a favorite? You know. Buck's memory that you guys liked, you know, it could be current or past, you know. I have, I have two. One is funny and one is, might be everybody's favorite, Um, but the 24 and one with Golden State. Oh, yeah. We were there and Ashley, I'm probably you were there too, right? Mm Mm-hmm. So we had to wear, if you remember, the 24 and one shirts Mm -hmm. and they gave them to us. And I looked at Chris, my husband, and I was like, oh, my gosh, like this is going to be so embarrassing if we (laughs) lose. But it wasn't. It was it it was like he was more embarrassed than I was. I was kind of like. This is hilarious. And the lights go out and we put our shirts on. And it, the lights come back on and we're wearing these 24 and one shirts because Golden State, just for those who are watching, Golden State was on a 24 winning streak and they lost to us. <laughs> and that was the greatest memory that I have out of all the years. But I just want to say one more. Okay. The Van Gundy, uh, Dan Van Gundy or Stan, I'm sorry, Stan Van Gundy when it's a funny one when we said stan loves ham or stan wants turkey or stan (laughs) wants gravy and that was back in the day when we could say whatever we wanted yeah yeah. (laughs) it was cool because he laughed at us but now we're we're a different type of group you know that was more risky to say but we're on the map now so we have to be a little bit more professional so we you know say more cleaner things but that was that was a funny moment i just had to say yeah maybe because the the way he walks (laughs) yeah um i have i i have so many i I have so many Bucks memories, like 2001 run. That was after. Oh, yeah. Yes. So long, made it to, the, and we got robbed that year. We got robbed that year. I'm so mad about it still. So. It was rigged. <laughs> rigged. Rigged, I said. Um, but 2019 was very memorable to me. It was because, um. We made it back to the Easter Conference Finals for the first time since 2001. Yes. See it in person. That whole playoff run, I tell everybody, I will cherish that for the rest of my life. Every game, just everything about it. It was just so, I was on TV multiple times. I remember being at work. I remember being at work one time and I I looked up and I can see the, the, the break room through the warehouse and I could see the big TV and I saw myself. I go, oh my God. I walked up and then all of a sudden just a big wave of we just saw you on TV. We just saw yep. <laughs> but um but like people coming up to me, they're like, you're going to the game tonight? You're going to the game tonight? 
and just just the it was just non-stop bucks for me at that in 2019 it was just yeah i was so sad when oh I was so sad when we lost oh yeah game. we lost four in a row oh, that time yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, and yeah, the favorite memory, uh, you guys, like when we win the championship. <laughs> I, I was gonna say that one. I mean, that's obvious. obvious. Yeah, that's the obvious one. <laughs> I'm yeah, when you I'm hoping to replace year. that with this year. Oh yeah. I'm, I'm hoping to replace that. So. Yep. Not dismissing it. I would it. love to be in person. Yeah, I agree. Yes. Yes. I agree. Seeing the Deer District, that was great because it was like, wow, even people that's not in the game are just filling the whole whole space up. That was cool. Yes, I was down there when they won. It was crazy. I was, yeah. I was in in the arena, like we were there, and that moment, like being there, and I was there with my kids and my husband. And I felt so honored that we were able to pull that off, like, and be there. Like, yeah. I, I just, I cherish that moment forever. It's like, I cried. <laughs> I cried <laughs> so hard. <laughs> they got that a on camera. Circle moment. Not Bucks, but my family. <laughs> <laughs> That's like a full circle moment. It is. It is. That, yes, yes, I agree. I mean, you, when that, those when those seconds were ticking down, like you just, I just had like a a, a flood of flashbacks of the not so good years. To just, I know. To the build up. To the, it was such a build up of emotions. <laughs> yes, yes. I just wish that the jockey crew could have been there. Like it yeah. was, it was nice being there, but I want to win with the jockey crew. Like, yeah. that's what I'm with. <laughs> I, I agree with that 100%. I believe we're going to win another one. So, I believe we'll be all there together. Well, that would be crazy. Do you think it will be this year? That's <laughs> tough because... The way we be shooting the ball, I be like, oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, can we get Middleton back, please? <laughs> yes. We need to be healthy, too. Yes. I but agree. there's still a lot of time in the season. There yeah. is. There is. We got, we got some time. I, I think Not a trade. Worried until March, March, then I'll be worrying. <laughs> a trade made. I think we'll get something, somebody in here. I think somebody. Yeah. I think horse is, horse, you know, he's a good GM, I feel like. And he always does something at the deadline. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. My favorite moment <laughs> is when we drafted Giannis. A lot of people was like, I don't know him. But I was like, yes, I know him. And this is the type of player we should get. Because I was afraid we are going to get some college player that didn't have a lot of potential. And I had um, saw a video on on him at on this website called Draft Express, and I was like, "Wow, he has a lot of potential." And I was like, "The Bucks will never draft him," <laughs> because I felt like the Bucks at that time they just cared about making the playoffs. That's it, not about the future. But then mm -hmm. I screamed when I saw him. I was like, "Yes, yes," <laughs> <laughs> and I made a a post on Facebook, and I still got it, because I was one of the true ones that really believed. I believed in him, too. I had his jersey, and I, like, the first year he was here, I had his jersey, and I was like, and everybody thought I was crazy, like, why would you get somebody's jersey that's a, a rookie like that, and you don't know his potential? I'm like, I see his potential, like... <laughs> Yeah, he wasn't proven. He just had to prove himself, you know. And he's worked so hard ever since. Mm -hmm. He sure has. Oh, my next question. This is sort of the same. I asked favorite Bucks memory, but do you have a favorite um, Jackie Crew memory or like 
whatever year you was in the crew, was there something that happened that sticks out in your mind? Um, mm. Like, for me, I think some stuff that sticks out is, like, one time in the Bradley Center, I saw Chris um, Chris Middleton's um, game winner against the Miami Heat. That was awesome. That's when we had Zaza Pachulia. <laughs> and um, I also remember um, when we used to be able to get stuff and they used to throw stuff. You know how they avoid our section? You're right. They didn't, they didn't used to do that. And we used to get um, some of the free stuff that came out of the cannons. And mm-hmm. some stuff was in the sky, like some parachute um, yeah, it was like a parachute bear that came down. Now I remember grabbing it. <laughs> um, and one time in the Pfizer Forum, there was a group behind us, you know, that sits behind us, and they all gave us food. <laughs> they all gave us their food. So that was I was just- there, but I didn't get the food. <laughs> I got something. I don't know if it was pizza. I forgot. <laughs> I might have ate a slice of pizza, I think. <laughs> <laughs> so do either one of you have a favorite memory that you were a part of? Oh, also me winning the dance battles. Those are fun, too. <laughs> <laughs> I will say I won, I won a dance battle, and I lost the dance battle. I lost the dance battle to Travis Henderson. Um, wow. He acted a complete fool and <laughs> won. And I was like, he went before me, and I'm like, he's going to win because the song I picked is just like not hype enough. And he was hype. But I won one time, and it was so much fun. Like, <laughs> it was <laughs> so much fun. I really, I really enjoyed that. I, I got to hear Abram's answer first, like, to get a little bit more in my head of memories. Because <laughs> there's a lot. Yeah, there's so many <laughs> memories. <laughs> um, for me, I, I my first game ever being at, in a, at that time was the Cream City Clash. Um, wh- the first playoff game I ever attended with the Bucks, I, I don't know if it was Boston or Toronto. I forgot which one it was, and I forgot which year it was. But I remember the Bradley Best Center being so loud, <laughs> so loud. Like I, like I, in the middle of chanting, I like took a step back and like I looked around. I'm like, oh, this is so cool. This is so damn. Yeah. It always yeah. gets hype around playoffs. Yes, I mean it's loud at the Pfizer Four, but there was that Bradley Center. If that Bradley was, Center was rocking, like it was, it was, it was, it was going so loud. I remember that, and I did the same thing. <laughs> I like <laughs> stood back and just admired the crowd, and kind of got mad too because I'm like, "Where are y'all in 2013?" <laughs> yeah, I can agree to that. I can agree to that, but just. <laughs> That that playoff sound is just like I can still hear it, and it just it just I, it's music to my ears. It's music, to right? Me, honestly, right. Any more memories come to mind? I got plenty, but I just can't. <laughs> <laughs> well, the so like I said before, that playoff, the 2019 run, that was fun. The whole crew was all in it. Like we like everybody just looked like we were just having a blast. Like a time of our life. Yep. Yeah. You know, as far as the dance battles, I've lost two. Um, what's interesting now is what they didn't do back in the day. They they actually make you try out in the back. I you, heard about that. You, I'm you like, sign what? up. It's like five of us, and they only taking three, right? So you got to compete behind the scenes. And by the time you get <laughs> on the court, you're already tired. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I, 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 
try to do that, but I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> it is so intimidating, like seeing all those people like just staring at you, but the rush of winning, like like when you hear like the crowd chants like screaming louder for you, you're like, <gasps> oh my gosh. <laughs> I, I think I would like to try it one time. You would win, Abram. You, you should win. try. I'm going I'm gonna I should try it. A- Ashley, you have to show me the way. You have to you have to, <laughs> you know to do something. Sometimes I just try to dance, but I've learned you gotta just do something funny. Yeah, you gotta do something funny. Sometimes some energizing it's not the best answer. <laughs> yep. Yeah, yep. it's about who can rock the crowd better. <laughs> yeah. Sign up for that? Where do you sign up for that? I they will so. go around and ask. Yeah. Oh, you just got to be at the right place at the right time. Uh, like sometimes they'll ask our section. Uh, they'll ask Danny if he, he knows of anybody that wants to be a part of it. Just tell Danny like that you want to be a part of it. And, and he might come get you one day. <laughs> uh. I, you guys are getting me all hyped now. <laughs> See? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm going to have guess... a conversation <laughs> with Danny tomorrow. <laughs> Who's your favorite Buck of all time? And who is your favorite um, Bucks currently? <laughs> Mine is the same. <laughs> Allen. Uh No. <laughs> oh. oh, Giannis. <laughs> Giannis. They got the same. It used number. to be Ray Allen, but Giannis has taken everything. So he is my favorite all time, and he is my favorite current. Like, he is like nonstop. Like, like when I talk about good people, he is a good person, and he comes from a good family. Like, his family, like, I talked to his mom a few times, well, a lot on Facebook, I talked to her, but she is just so down to earth and humble, and I can tell where he comes from, like, just to know who he is, like, he is a good person, and like I said, I don't always look at who they are on the court, but off the court, too. The inside. Mm Mm-hmm. Um, me, when I was young, my favorite, favorite Bucks player was Big Dog, Glenn Robinson. Mm-hmm. A Big Dog. Loved him. I, I, he was, he was like the man. He was the Buck for me. But current, obviously, it's Giannis. Giannis has <laughs> everything. He's the greatest of all time, franchise-wise. <laughs> Um, NBA will come soon, <laughs> <laughs> but for franchise, yes, he's 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 the gold. He's the great. He's my favorite player right now. Mm-hmm. I would say all time, Jabari Parker. No, it's <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, I know him. <laughs> Giannis Antetokounmpo. That's what I want us to add to the section again. We used to say it a little we need bit. To add that again. Like yeah. I'm gonna talk to Danny about that. Sit there, like we don't do that no more. Why? You know, I want to. I want to start adding like, like more. I don't know, like, like funnier things. <laughs> Stuff yeah, that yeah. Still say, but you know, like we'll we'll talk to Danny. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and I want to say certain things to the players at the free throw line. Not anything, you know, bad. Exactly. Just things that you know to get them thinking a little bit. You know. Yeah. <laughs> like what they say. <laughs> <laughs> um. All time favorite Giannis, Giannis, Giannis. I guess before Giannis, it would be Brandon Jennings, but it's Giannis all day. Um, I believed in him from day one. I just love his worth ethic. I love that he's funny with the dad jokes. I love, you know, the person that he is. He's very humble, you know, and 
You can tell he got great values and he puts family over everything and that's what you should do. So Giannis, Giannis, and I would love to meet you, Giannis, and give you a hug, Giannis. And, you know, Mariah, you don't have to worry about anything. I'm just going to hug him. That's it. And I'm going to let go. After oh. a couple of seconds. <laughs> oh, yeah. I have to say, one of my all-time favorite Bradley Center moments was when we first met Giannis. <laughs> he said to me in his accent, I'm not going to try to say his accent because I don't know <laughs> how. But he said in his accent, you're the girl on the big screen. Cause I used to at that time get on the big screen cause they would let us come down lower. But like he noticed that. And I was like, like that was like a moment for me. I was like, Oh, he saw me. <laughs> I was blushing. <laughs> um, did you know, I actually, I ran into Giannis at Cermak. Did you? Yes. Uh, five years ago. Did I you remember, approach him? I, 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 ooh, I walked around a little bit. I'm like, damn, do I do it? Do I do it? And then finally I just worked the nerves and I went up. I was so nervous. And I'm not a nervous person. Oh, so <laughs> nervous. Like I could just hear, hear the shakiness in my voice. And he complimented my hat because I had a Bucks hat on. And he goes, hey, I like your hat. And I go, thank you. <laughs> took my, oh, my gosh. Took my hand and I go, Giannis, I, I go, this is like once in a lifetime opportunity. I go, and I got to, I got to, I got to ask you. I go, can I get a picture with you? And he goes, yeah. So, He's so a, sweet that way. He took a selfie so with sweet. me. And I was like, man, I was like, you're awesome. Thank you so much. And it was like, I was the only person that I think I remember it. that picture. You posted it, right? I did. I did post it. I do remember <laughs> that. And, and um, so I was the only person at first. And then all of a sudden, like a chain reaction, people started strolling up to them. Hey, hey, you play for the Bucks. Like, you, I heard <laughs> that. Like, I just, I was just so happy I got <laughs> the picture. And I always That's felt it in my heart, too. I was like, I'm going to run into him one day. I'm going to run into him one day. <laughs> And it happened. Speak it into existence. Yeah. That's what you need to do, Ashley. Just speak to it. <laughs> yes. I, I will hug Giannis one day. I've <laughs> met him a couple of times. The first time I met him was rookie year. It's when the Bucks players used to go to cricket for like, you know, um, what do they call them? Um, autograph signings. Oh, yeah, they yeah. They go to cricket. I know Brandon Jennings went to one. And I didn't even say anything to him. My mom did all the talking because I was nervous. I was so nervous, I didn't even say anything to him. <laughs> I get all You didn't that. say anything? No. I I think I was just starstruck. <laughs> no. You oh, know, I, uh, I went to one of his autograph signings at a... Um, I think it was a, was that cricket? Um, I, it was, it was somewhere. I, I don't remember where we had it, but it, he was the, we were the only fans there. There Whoa. was nobody there. It was a car dealership. And uh -oh. we were the only ones there and we go up to him and I have my first Jersey that I ever wore. Cause it was like early on. And I had him sign it. And I was like, can you sign your full name? Because I want to have your full name. And he, start, he started signing it like his full name. And his manager, right? Oh, yeah. So, so, you know, the lady. The, uh, she's like a player personnel. Like a player personnel. Sorry, Chris is over on the side. <laughs> Hi, player. Player. <laughs> I just walked in the room. He just walked in the room. <laughs> um, the player personnel um, said, no, 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 no. Stop. And I was like, what? Like, what is she doing? Well, come to find out if he signs his full name, I could duplicate that, like, for checks or, you know, just personal oh. stuff. So he, she, oh. she stopped him midway through. So I have a jersey that's signed midway through. <laughs> 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 
finished it. Oh, he finished it? Yeah, it's oh. Like, <laughs> it's so weird because it's his whole name. Yeah, it's his whole name. Like, it's probably not worth anything because it's his whole name. <laughs> now it's now it's sort of just like a GA thing, right? Yeah, GA34. Yeah. At first, it was just GA. Here, grab me that. At first, it was just GA. Like, I think I have, yeah, I have a few things with his autograph, just GA. Yeah. But now it's, it's, Ooh. it's GA34. The news should come to your house for uh, all your autographs. And put you, you on should the see. <laughs> like, tell you what he said on his phone? What did he say? This is a, a game ball. Because that's a game ball. Wow. He looked at it and he goes, This is a game ball. I was like, Yeah. <laughs> and he was like, like this he literally Yeah, he was holding it. the ball. He was like, I don't want to sign this. This is like, a this, game ball. Like, this is a game ball. I'm like, Yes, yeah, so that's why I want you to sign it. And he's like, No, like he wouldn't this, he this didn't want to sign it. <laughs> he didn't realize, no, you're gonna up the value of this. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. So, now that we talked about the jockey crew. Oh, wait. I, I remember what I was going to say. I was, had two separate questions. One for Melissa, one for AG. Um, I know you were outside in the Deer District when they won the championship. I just wanted you to, you know, talk about that. And Melissa, you are... um. You work for the Jackie Crew now, and are you the first woman to? I don't know. I, I am. Think... I didn't even realize that. <laughs> you, you are the first woman to be like one of the leaders. So how does that yeah. feel? How is it working with the Jackie Crew? That was my last two questions. Okay. Who do you want to go first? <laughs> whoever, whoever, you know. Abraham, go first. Um, yeah, I was down there. I'm sorry. Repeat that again. What do you want me to? Add? What was the question? Well, I, I saw some videos of you down there, you know. <laughs> you, was, you was lit, having fun. <laughs> and I want to know, what was the experience? Like, I don't know if I could take it being down there with all the people because I, I like my space. But how was it for you? It was it was everything I thought of. It's It was something I dreamed of when I was a kid, you know, like watching – uh like the news and like when the bulls won the titles in the 90s and you saw the celebrations in chicago the partying after the game and then um of course the days later the uh championship parade i didn't attend that but i was down oh, there I for game six i was down there for game six it and was hot that day <laughs> it was hot i was it was everything i expected i think i hopped on somebody's trailer yeah. <laughs> then they got overtook it by like uh, five more other people. I'm like, I better get off because something bad's gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> but it was a blast. And you know who I I saw it. I actually was gonna meet some friends from work down there, but you had no service down there. There was no cell phone service outside at all. Wow. So, but I ended up running into Lamarcus, my boy Lamarcus. <laughs> If there was, there's no other, who doesn't run into Lamarcus. <laughs> there's no He's other. Everywhere. There's, there's no other person I would have wanted to experience that with than with Lamarcus, because we we used to talk about the old school bucks, the back in the day bucks, the terrible bucks. Yeah, <laughs> that was that that was that was a cool moment. It was a cool moment. Shout out to my homie Lamarcus. I just want to shout out to Lamarcus and shout out to Tony Marcus. Sergio for making all the games almost every year. Yeah, <laughs> Iron Fan, right? Right, Iron Fans. What a trophy! Y'all should make a little trophy for like. The, That's we want to do something. We're gonna do something for those that make every game. That'd be well, that'd be cool. cool. That'd be yeah. Weird. Well, I guess for me working for the Bucks, when I heard you might ask that, I thought hard about it because it's not it's not like 
you you start there and you're like oh this is great it's hard work so mm-hmm. i likened it to the wizard of oz like peeking behind the curtains and seeing how everything works you know you you don't really appreciate it until you're behind the scenes you see danny tony melanie food workers i mean everybody's working so hard and to to make this event i mean it's not just a basketball game it is right. all these different events that are going on behind the scenes and it just strengthened my appreciation for for those that work there like i think it's just amazing and johnny johnny shout out to johnny you know he he works so hard and uh the ushers the ushers oh my goodness i wouldn't be anywhere without the ushers (laughs) (laughs) yeah yeah you know you see the basketball game but what behind the scenes the you know crew and everybody gotta organize all the you know timeouts you know what they do in the timeouts it does seem like a lot of work it is like and just like, you know, one thing that you don't realize is Danny and Tony, like, and and now myself, we don't get to watch the game as a fan, like, like everybody else. Like, I mean, even, even y'all being in the fan section, we have work to do, you know, it's right. not just sitting in your seat and watching, you know, right. so uh, most of the time me, Danny and, uh, Tony are have our backs to the game, you know, because we're yeah. focused on y'all. So it, it, you know, it's hard work, but it it pays off just by the appreciation. Like it's it's amazing. Yeah, and I noticed that um, one time Danny did a, it was like a meeting, you know, for the jockey crew. And I was like, wow, he's already there in the arena and it's hours before. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. People get there so early, so mm-hmm. early. Thank you, Melissa, for that detailed answer. Thank you guys for your answers. Right now, we're going to end the show by talking about the Bucks, the Bucks season. How do you feel like the Bucks season is so far? How are you? What do you think they could do better on? What um, have they done great on? We was talking about the game yesterday. That was a thriller. Overtime. I feel like it shouldn't have happened. But a win is a win. Giannis got the triple-double. But I'm like, we can't be collapsing. And I just hope the collapses, they get it all out their system now so it doesn't happen in the playoffs. That's how I feel. But how do you guys feel about how the Bucks are performing this year? Who do you uh, want to go? <laughs> hey, G, you can go first. Um, <laughs> those, man, those, those two, I mean, it's not just that, that law. I mean, not the loss. I mean, what happened yesterday, but the, the Chicago game too, where we were up 10 points and we were like, what, a minute and a half left, and we gave it away, and they we ended up losing. Uh, I agree with you. I hope those that's out of the system. Um, for Middleton being out and Drew Holiday not being there, I think we mm-hmm. done. I wish, I wish the the young dudes would get more run, like yeah, uh, Marjan and Jordan. I want to see them play a little more. Um, I don't want to see George Hill. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm, I'm, let's, let's get all the, let's work out the kinks. Let's make a trade. Let's, I, I think things will get smooth eventually. Just in time for the playoff run. Yes, yeah. yes. I could. I couldn't say it better. I mean, we're the second best team in the league. We graduated from being a regular team to a team that's deep in the playoffs. So it's, it's, you know, missing Middleton is, is huge, 
but yeah. you know we need to be focused on where we're going to be march through may you know and i think i think we could possibly get to that point and i mean look at look at look at them they haven't made excuses this year everything that they have like have done they've never made excuses Giannis is always like we need to we need to work better we need to work harder so I love that they're focused on the just getting better I agree so I'm gonna phrase it like this next the Bucks will win a championship if you guys gotta finish the sentence I think you want me to go first Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> the Bucks will win a championship if we're healthy and <laughs> Coach Bud continues to improve as a coach. I feel like he has made some mistakes and I feel like like for one, I think he should play Marjan more, even when we get healthy. Because sometimes when we're healthy, he doesn't play the young fellas, you know. He should continue to play him. Our defense is great this year, but our offense, it's, I think we need to run more plays, more pick and roll action, not just Giannis save the day, you know. Right. That's my answer. <laughs> that was a good answer, I think. That was a great answer. It stole a lot of what I was about to say. <laughs> oh. The Bucks will win the championship this year if. Go, Abram. If the Bucks will win a championship if. I'm going to have to echo health. Um, what's it called? Um, keep, keep George Hill out of the game. <laughs> sorry, uh, George Hill. <laughs> if, if you ever watch this, we're sorry. Yeah, yeah. Some, but some fans sorry. think you're over the hill. <laughs> yeah. I, I, um, I think the young guys can bring something to the table. I think Marjan has. I agree with you talking about Marjan. I think he has humongous potential, and I think somebody that can contribute. To a playoff run. Right away. Yes. I love him. So I will say. Like just a simple answer. And you guys have both already said it. But if we're healthy. If we're healthy. Yeah. Sometimes it does. It's not necessarily about. You know. Who's the best team. Sometimes it's health. You know. Yeah. If we're top player like um we didn't win last year chris middleton was hurt yeah that's a perfect example if we would have had middleton we would have ended that in six exactly exactly <laughs> please middleton come back yeah. <laughs> yes yes i i'm praying for he, he needs to he needs to get healthy so we can start <laughs> we can start our run i mean he can still sit out for now but once we get to march Right. I mean, like, even halfway through February, you got to get in there. You got to start getting, yep. got to start getting the the juices flowing and. Yeah. <laughs> Chris, put that street. boy in bubble wrap. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, we got to. We got to. His knee, his wrist, everything. Uh, yeah. We need that. We need that. Is there anything else you guys wanted to add? Um, any questions you got or any more championship answers? Oh, did I ask you about one thing you like about the Bucks this year and one thing you don't like about the Bucks this year? Or did we kind of answer that already? We kind of answered it. I mean, yeah. I, I I talked about not making excuses. I, that's what right. I like. But right. I don't know if Abram answered. Yeah, I don't even remember if I answered that. <laughs> <laughs> well, one thing I really like is Marjan. I believe in his talent. He got the height, the length. You know, I feel like 
if Bud played him like um against the Celtics that one game, and I forgot who else. Like the when we face the larger, bigger wings, I feel like he can guard them, you know, because he got the yeah. height and the athleticism. Yeah, I agree. But the refs might not like it though. They might pick on the rookie foul. <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey, the Bucks will win a title if the refs actually right. ref- <laughs> game. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Uh, let me let me add that in there real quick. <laughs> yes. Open your eyes, refs. Replace oh. the refs with robots. Replace that, the refs that, with that, robots. That, that, last night with Bobby yeah. Portis not calling that foul. That was so terrible. Towards the end, that was a foul. That was a straight up. Yeah, the, and the rest not... have been messing with us. They oh, mess... and they... yeah. Oh, I, I was so mad. It's something about a small market team. I don't know. And Giannis is the two time MVP. You know, he's one defensive player of the year. And I still feel like the rest be picking on him. Not I know. Him because he's so strong. They're like, oh, that's and not... he gets beat up down there, like yeah. he does. Scratches literally down his arm. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. can see the scratches or, on his arm. Right. Yeah, or up down there. What can Man. you do? And Giannis, he just powers through. I would be tired, but <laughs> I know. I know. I know. <laughs> Guys, um, I just want to say, oh. You can go. I was just, I was just gonna say, like, I wanted to throw some love to you, Ashley, like, for having this show. Really? I think it's a great show. Yes, I, I watch it. You know, I, I definitely am appreciative of you even asking me to be on it. And, you know, it, I just, I just think you're amazing. And I love that I got to know you. And throughout all these years, um, it's, it's been a pleasure. Um, I just want to shout out to Benny, who used to run the group, John, who used to run the group, Danny, Tony, but a few fans, uh, Tony Sergio, um, LaMarcus, Dan Hosel, Travis Henderson, Dan Hosel started everything. So just shout them out. But the biggest thing with our group, it's so eclectic. Um, Mm -hmm. because it's not a bunch of college kids. It's a bunch of different ages and and we all become like a family and it's like organized chaos and it just, that's a perfect word. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. So I, I just, I'm so appreciative to be a part of the fan section and be on your show. Thank you. That was brilliant. That was amazing, (laughs) Melissa. Thank you. And all your shout outs was great. Dan, who started it, everybody who's been a leader of it. Thank you. I love anybody who I didn't mention. I'm sorry. (laughs) (laughs) I have to agree. I a big shout out to you and continued success. Um, yes, hope you you are super successful. Thank you. I'm very touched and I'm very honored also that you have me on your show. So uh, we've gotten close the last couple of years in the cheering group. I like, I love, and like you said, Melissa, it's, it's, it's a different group this year. And, it is. and it's, uh, I've, don't get me wrong. I've always had a blast and all the year, but this year is very different and very exciting. And I just, I love mm-hmm. seeing all the different faces and it's just cool. Like, it's just, it's just a nice, it's a nice vibe. It's a very nice, different vibe. Yes. Yeah. I, I also wish that we all get together on the, um, in the off season too, you know? Yeah. I, I think that would be good. Like get, to, get something together. Well, we're going to be doing another tournament so i gotta get ready i gotta yes. get in shape i gotta work on my, gotta work on my form you know 
<laughs> That's exciting. Thank you guys for all the compliments. And yeah, the Yaki crew is one of the best things in my life. You meet so many different people and you become fans through the love of the sport, but also the love of the Bucks. Yes. Yeah, for sure. It's been amazing. Thank you guys so much for joining me. You guys are my, you know, Bucks pals, Bucks family, and it's so great. And yeah, it's just so great to have a common bond with people and you're doing one collective thing together. And we're the best in the NBA. No one can beat yes. us. Oh, no. That's right. We are the best. <laughs> right. Yeah, if you see us at the game, join our chance, say hi. You could probably even join the Jackie crew, you know, get some yeah. of the information, you know. Absolutely. Come, come see us. Come see us. We're friendly, most of us. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, we're friendly. <laughs> we are friendly. <laughs> And, oh, before I go, I want to say, everyone, subscribe. If you like Melissa Abram, subscribe. <laughs> if you like me, yes. subscribe. And if you, <laughs> oh, and if you want to answer all the questions that we answered, just type them, you know, in my YouTube section, and I'll respond to you. You know, we can have a Bucks, you know, talk, you know, in the comments, you know. <laughs> For sure. Yeah, this was this is probably one gonna be my one of my favorite episodes. You know, this is awesome. Oh, that's amazing. Love that. Yeah. That's awesome. That's awesome. <laughs> that's it for I be balling with the Jackie Crew. You know how we do. Hey. hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Right. Well, I'll see everybody tomorrow. Go pound for pound, round for round. Take the take with this basketball breakdown. My sauce is dripping all on the ground. There's levels to this. Swish, swish. Look at the flick of the wrist, wrist. I'm dishing and swishing. I'm hitting you, missing. You lost, I'm on a mission. You cold, I'm hot in the kitchen. Rise above the opposition. In my bag, all over the competition. Huddle up, it's time to listen. No limit like Master P. There's no stopping me. I